using if statements with two-dimensional lists. So here we are, we've got a list of people, uh, and for each person we've got their name and their age, their name and their age, name and their age, name and their age, good stuff. And what we're going to say is they're off to, um, let's say they're off to a theme park. There you go, they're off to a theme park. And the theme park prices is adults, um, adults is... Thirty pounds. There we go. A uh, child is. Let's say child is ten, and infant. Infant is uh, free. Should we do free? Yeah. Why not? Infants are free. Okay. Adults is uh, plus eighteen or eighteen plus. Eighteen plus. Adult is eighteen plus. Child is. Yeah, less than 18, there we go, but greater than 1, is that right, less than 18, greater than 1, uh, less than 18, greater than 1, there we go, less than 18, greater than 1, and infants is less than 1, there we go, okay, good stuff. So, so those are 3, tw uh, 30, 10, and free of charge. So we're going to be, yeah, here we go, let's just get rid of those prices. What can we keep them? We'll keep them for the moment. So what you need to do here is, using an if statement here, with these temporary variables that we've done here, uh, which name represents the name of each person, age represents the age of each person, all we have to do is we can just do exactly the same. Let's create a total here, total equals zero, and... All we have to say is, let's have a look. So let's have a look. If, let's have a look. If the age is, let's have a look. If the age is greater than 18, cost equals 30. Else, if the age is greater than or equal to 1, then cost equals 10. Else, cost equals 0. There we go. There we go. So, for each person in that list, we find out how much the cost is going to be for that person. And we might as well print it out. Print name will pay cost. There we go. So, so and so will have to pay cost. There we go. Good. Total plus equals cost. We can add the total to the cost. There we go. And then at the end, we can say total print total cost for the family. Let's put my pound coin in there. Pound total. There we go. And you can see that there. So that's how we use an if statement with that's how we use an if state with two-dimensional lists or two-dimensional arrays. Now there is one other way that you might see this, so it's probably worthwhile knowing, is instead of using this technique here where I've used multiple temporary variable names for each time through the loop, then what you might find is you'll do instead P, you'll have a single variable there and for each one here if p now this time you will use the indexes you'll use the indexes so p which will stand for each person in the people list there's people so the first time it'll be homer and then you have to do index number one because index zero is the first item index one would be the second so instead you would see this p1 there we go, P1, which is to 1, there you go, and then that would be P0, there you go. 
So, which will have exactly the same effect in the end. If you look here over on this one side, each person, one, two, three, four, and exactly the same on that side. But in terms of their the readability, the other version is better. But, well, it might be better. I think it's better. It's certainly a little bit more readable. Otherwise, you have to start looking at which ones, what P1 is, what P0 is, which is fine. It's entirely up to you. But I prefer that version. There you go.